welcome to Millennium 7 Star, the channel that helps you make sense of military history and military technology. Please stay with me till the end because the stuff that we discuss here is very difficult to find elsewhere on YouTube. As humans, we tend to classify things in categories and fighter jets are actually no exception. There have been various attempts to classify modern fighter jets and they come mostly from the press, the specialized press, or the marketing departments of the aerospace manufacturer. Different classification for segmented the, all the post-war air combat planes have been proposed, but there is one that is probably used by everybody. It is difficult to say who introduced that. Some say the Russians in the 90s, some say Lockheed Martin marketing department, some others say it was the Aerospace Web website. Whichever is the source is the one that I'm using as well, so let's have a look. The first generation goes from roughly 1945 to middle 50s. It is the generations that include the first fighter jets. They were basically subsonic and they tend to be split into two subcategories. The wartime design fighter jets with a straight wing and the designs that came immediately later with a swept wing. Example of the first group are the Messerschmitt 262 or the P-80 or the Gloucester Meteor. Example of the second group are the F-86 and the MiG-15. The second generation goes roughly from 1955 to the beginning of the 60s and it is characterized to be supersonic in level flight also by the adoption of the first air-to-air -air missiles. Second generation are the F-102, the F-104, 106, MiG-21, the Mirage 3 or the Saab Draken. The third generation goes from the early 60s to the early 70s. The third generation is characterized by the adoption of multi-purpose platforms like the F-4, the MiG-23, MiG-27, the Harrier, for example, or the Mirage F-1. The third generation goes from early 70s to the 90s. It is a generation that starts emphasizing maneuverability rather than speed and power. It is the generation of the F-16, which actually epitomizes this generation, but also F-15, F-18, MiG-29, Sukhoi-27, Tornado, Mirage 2000, and so on. The fifth generation starts in the 21st century and it is our current generation and it is the generation of the F-22 and the F-35. Usually, also, there are references to a generation 4.5, which is a generation of either uh, late derivatives of four generation planes like the F-18EF or entirely new generation of non-stealth aircraft but with performances definitely enhanced if compared with the fourth generation like the European Delta Canard, the Eurofighter Typhoon, the Griffin, the, the Salt Rafale, also the derivatives of the Sukhoi 27 like the Sukhoi 30, the Sukhoi 35 are considered generation 4.5. As I said at the beginning, the boundaries between generations are quite loose, even because, for example, an early Mirage 3 can be considered a second generation, but a late Mirage 3 is definitely a third generation. Actually, this is a pretty general phenomenon. The late version of a plane tend to move toward the following generation. As I said at the beginning, there is really nothing special connected with this classification. It is more a synoptic that, we, that helps us actually get oriented in the world of fighter jets 
and there is probably a lot of marketing related to this. To finish this video, I am mentioning the sixth generation. The sixth generation is still on paper, our plane is developed now, and they are going to replace the generation 4.5 and part of the fifth generation. They are characterized by even more advanced stealth, potentially uh, new categories of weapons like direct energy and the possibility of acting uh, as remotely piloted vehicles. So it's not clear if the sixth generation is still going to be fully piloted or not. Among the sixth generation project, we can mention the Anglo, Italian and Swedish Tempest project. And there is also a German French initiative. I hope you have enjoyed this very short video and if you liked it, I am sure you will like also the videos that are appearing now on the screen. Uh, please uh, subscribe, hit the bell so you won't miss anything. This will help the channel a lot. And if, if you could consider supporting the channel on Patreon and subscribe star that would be amazing even because you will have 10 years of good luck well actually i'm joking maybe not but that would be amazing anyway thank you very much for watching and goodbye